Another Philadelphia murder over the weekend. Another mother dealing with unspeakable grief. Action News reporter Christy Aletto spoke with that mom tonight. Christy is live at police headquarters. Christy. That's right, Jim. Delia Simmons says her son was dropping off food and hadn't even made it to the front door when he was shot. It's a story that's becoming all too familiar on city streets. And I looked on my surveillance camera and saw legs on my porch. Delia Simmons' worst nightmare playing out on the front steps of her Germantown home. Two gunmen shot her son, 26-year-old Stanley Bowman, before fleeing the 900 block of Morton Street. Detectives still searching for his killers. I was giving him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, keeping, trying to keep him alert. At that time, I just did not want to lose my only son. And I was thinking about, you know, the gun violence in the city of Philadelphia. Simmons says their block had become so unsafe. Her son had recently purchased a gun for protection. They were in the process of getting it registered. Her story, an all too familiar one happening in city neighborhoods. Bikers had a peace ride through West Philadelphia Monday night before a stop the violence meeting at Church of Christian Compassion. No politicians, no cameras after the opening prayer, just candid conversation between men and boys to spur change. How is this different from what we've seen in the past? We're not just standing in the streets holding up our fists. We're sitting down together and uh, talking about how we can turn things around. The murder rate now up 33% from this time last year. And for grieving mothers like Simmons, her son, now part of that growing statistic. I did not think this would happen to us. What do you have to say to the people that did this? I, I just pray for them. Simmons showing compassion tonight while police look for the gunman. Anyone with information about this latest incident is asked to contact authorities. Live here at police headquarters, Christy Aletto, Channel 6, Action News. Jim. Thank you, Christy.